Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen issue 7 sees Jimmy attend a session with his shrink Lorelai Lou, who says that she knows lots about Jimmy, but never gets to know who he is in these sessions. Since there is five Jimmy Olsons and she is never sure which one she is speaking to. She knows about the photojournalist Jimmy, the restless Jimmy, eager to transform himself into something else, the prankster Jimmy, the investigator Jimmy, who is very world weary, and then there's just Jimmy, the one who can barely keep it together and does so by hiding behind a camera. Dr. Lou dubs this Jimmy the witness. Jimmy is barely listening to her, saying that if he had to deal with all those Jimmys like she does, he'd be sick of himself as well. Years before, all the little Olsen siblings talk about where they want to be when they grow up. Janie says that she wants to be an actress, but soon turn to writing and performing dramatic pieces in front of audiences. Julian says that he wants to make the city better and build things bigger than anybody in their family, even their father and grandfather. Jimmy Mimo wants to fight cowboy monsters and eat pie on the moon. Julian wonders why anyone would ever want to leave Metropolis as Jimmy continues ranting about his future adventures and shenanigans. In the present, Jimmy and Janie drive drive down the busy highway. Janie doesn't really consider driving a 1980s electric car actually driving, as Jimmy finds it weird. Janie says it's not really weird for people to move, but Jimmy actually meant being on the run for being himself. But Janie says that he was bound to catch up with himself sooner or later. At Jimmy's Gotham apartment, James Corrigan runs down a lead on Jimmy, learning from his landlord that he wasn't supposed to open the curtains. James learns that Olsen never went out until the last day when Jimmy and a guest made several calls, went out for Thai food, and were then saved by Batman from some goons. Dr. Mantell suddenly bursts through the door, hoping Jimmy hasn't killed himself. James is very interested in Mantell, demanding to know who he is. Mantell still thinks he is too late, telling the detective he was there to save Jimmy Olsen from a cosmic, transdimensional, interstellar danger. James doesn't really understand, as suddenly a flying saucer crashes into the building. Out of the saucer comes Jix, who wants to know where Olsen is, since she left him with a task and he failed it. She soon notices her father, Dr. Mantell, who is happy to see his daughter yet again, learning that she fled through the infraverse, the oververse, the ultra space, and everything in between to get there. She tries to tell him about the incoming invasion, but Mantell wants to know why she was looking for Jimmy and what task she is hunting Olsen down for failing. She lies to her father as they board the saucer. James tries to stop them from leaving, but Mantell tells him to back off, since they are talking about space stuff and they are in Gotham, way out of the Metropolis detective's jurisdiction. They take off as James wonders why all these people are suddenly wanting to find Jimmy Olsen. Years prior, Jimmy plays hide and seek with his siblings, however he can't find a place for himself, always changing his place until no one can actually find him, causing the adults to come looking for him. Years later, a younger Jimmy goes for his interview with Perry White, who isn't too impressed with Jimmy's use of an old-timey camera, finding it on the nose. Jimmy says that he likes using using it since he likes the smell of the chemicals that the film uses. Perry looks over Jimmy's work, duly noting that it's very obvious Jimmy comes from money thanks to all the photos taken around the mansion of the Olsen estate. Perry says that his work isn't real enough as Lois points out Andrew Andolini, the man the mayor testified against that he never met, yet this photo proves that they did indeed meet. Perry demands to know how he got this picture, learning about the Olsen family table at the Rodondo Country Club, where instead of attending the fundraisers, Jimmy decided to hang out with the bellhops and porters, becoming their friend. He soon learns that one of them got fired because he tried to do his job and take bags up to someone's room. Jimmy decided to investigate the incident, and upon climbing up a lattice fence, he spies the mayor meeting with Andolini, taking a picture and running, telling the police that but they didn't care. He wonders if Perry knows anyone who could use this picture, and Perry is impressed that Jimmy brought a scoop to his first job interview. Jimmy says that he didn't want to just get the job on his name alone, and wanted to show that he can pull his own weight. Perry doesn't know if it's in the budget to hire him, despite Lois thinking it would be a good idea, but Jimmy says that he's rich, so he doesn't need to be paid. Perry gladly welcomes the boy to the Daily Planet, telling Jimmy he can absolutely not call him chief. Elsewhere, Lex meets with Jimmy's father, who wonders what the point is in their family feuds, and 
they should actually work together. Lex says that Mr. Olsen would be surprised why he would want this to continue, but Mr. Olsen says that he was young once and was raised to believe that the Luthers were just as bad as he sure Lex was raised hearing about the Olsons. He offers Alexander a seat, but the man refuses, telling Mr. Olsen to stop calling him Alexander. Lex says that he is the sole controller of his family's fortune now, and he came to tell Olsen that he will spend every dollar he owns to make sure that he defeats the Olsons. Mr. Olsen merely states that he owns all of the land, land that Luther's buildings are on, and that that's all that matters, and they will win forever because of it. Lex becomes angered, calling the man arrogant as Jimmy pops up from behind a plant to snap a picture of the angry Lex, racing out of the room. In the present, Janie and Jimmy head down into the highway tunnel, and Jimmy complains about Superman not being there to lift them over the tunnel and to their destination, but Jamie tells him to be quiet and to stop talking about Superman, since he's already talked about him the whole trip, and now they are out of the tunnel and in their new city, Opal City. Jimmy gets out to look around the city, seeing so many people dressed like him, making him tell Janie this isn't happening, forcing them to leave the city and to look for another new home. Superman's how Jimmy Olsen issue 7 really took a step back from the assassination plot to get a good look at Jimmy as a person, taking a trip into his psyche. It's great to see Jimmy was always this kind and adventurous guy with a wild imagination, even as a little child, but also he's grounded enough to know when someone needed help. The story about his job interview was a fantastic reminder of that despite coming from wealth, he just wants a kind of normalish life and to separate himself from the Olsen name and to prove that he can actually put his own weight more or less. More of Jimmy's shenanigans were teased at the end so I'm looking forward to seeing what he gets up to with his sister in the next new town. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10.